Hey everyone, welcome into another session of the Demand Gen Spring Summit 2023. My name is Alex Weitzel. I'm the marketing manager of Omadim. Thank you for spending some time with me today. We're going to talk about driving conversions through ungated self-service demos. Now, why this topic is exciting is there's a big opportunity to increase the ROI of your demand gen efforts today, which we know is really important in today's day and age where cash efficiency is so critical. So a few things you can expect from today's session. Number one, we're going to take a brief look at the status quo and the issues that are tied to it. Number two, we're going to look at why it's recommended to offer ungated self-service demos. And three, the results and the outcomes that you can expect from providing those. So before we dive in, just one thought that I want you to have with you as we go through the session is when your web traffic hits your landing page, hits your website, what options do they have? And better yet, does it match up with the goals that they're trying to accomplish in the moment? So just keep that thought in mind as we move forward. Okay, like I said, number one, there's a big opportunity to increase ROI today for your demand gen efforts. And that's really for two reasons. The first one is that you see here is the shifts in buyer preference and behavior. And the second one is the options available today to drive digital engagement. We're gonna take a much closer look at the first one. So the shifts in B2B buyer preference and behavior. We could do a three hour presentation on this topic, honestly. Uh, I've done a lot of research on this myself in the past few months, uh, but I've chosen a few different statistics that I'd like to highlight to show you how buyer pre preference and behavior has changed and why, the, how that pertains to self-service demos. So the first one is that in 2024, half of the workforce is going to be made up of millennials. Now, why is that important? It's because millennials are twice as likely to be skeptical of sales reps. The second one is 54% of buyers want a rep-free experience. And the third is that buyers prefer an on-demand self-service experience. So that matches up pretty well with the topic we're talking about today, ungated self-service demos. Now, I bring all these to your attention to, to say buyers and prospects today, they're qualifying you right, on their own before they even speak to a rep. And buyers today want an, an experience that is as consumer-like as possible. But unfortunately, the status quo does not align to buyer preference. Plain and simple, buyers want to see your product. Research shows that buyers are gearing more towards making evidence-based decisions rather than trust-based decisions. And they want to gather all that information for themselves. Being able to see your product is a huge part of their valuation. So let's take a look at the status quo and the issues that are tied to it. So at this point, just to recap, you've generated the demand and now your prospects are on your landing page. They're on your website. And we're going to take a look at the common options that they have once they reach that point. Okay, the first of the three common options for prospects is request a demo, one that we're probably all familiar with. And guess what? Your prospects are too. They know that this is a surefire way to get to see your product in action, but they also know that there's a lot tied to that. They know that it's going to be at a later time. It's probably going to be during their work day. They'll have to engage with a salesperson, most likely have to answer a ton of questions about themselves that they don't really want to yet. They'll have to submit their personal info to even see this demo. And they know that by doing that, they're going to be subject to a lot of sales outreach, whether that's emails, phone calls, even LinkedIn touches. And that's probably why the abandon rate on requested demo forms is 82%, according to HubSpot. And at Omenim, we've spoken to people who say their abandon rate is 90% or higher. Now, this is a very telling statistic to me because it clearly shows that your prospects are interested in seeing the product, but they're not ready to take that full step into engaging with sales and going down the sales process. So what other options do they have? Well, you likely have solutions or product pages on your site, which are really great in their own right. Uh, they might have screenshots, they might have animations of your product, uh, but they're more geared towards how the product works and highlighting a few features and functions. They do not 
fully satisfy the buyer's desire to see the product in action. So where else do they go? They might navigate over to your blog page, to your case studies, or to other unique resources that you have on your site, all with the hopes of seeing your product in action. But more often than not, those other pages still don't satisfy their desire to see the product. So to summarize, you're likely spending a ton of time, money, and effort generating your demand, but then these status quo options yield a painfully low ROI. And as sales and marketing professionals, it's agonizing to see conversion numbers that low. It makes you want to pull your hair out. So whether it's on your site or not, buyers today are going to do their research on their own. If they don't get the information they need from your site, they're going to go to other parts of the, of the internet. They're going to go to YouTube in hopes of seeing your product. They are going to go to review sites and see what they can learn there. They might even go to social media. You want to offer them the options to make sure that you are a part of their valuation so that you can control the narrative and that you can make sure they have the correct information about you and your product. Which leads us to the topic of the hour or of the 30 minutes, ungated self-service demos. Give your prospects an option to see your product in action that aligns with their preferences and in turn increases the ROI on your efforts. So before I dive in here, a quick overview of what I mean by, by demos. It's any content that really shows your product in action. It can be multiple videos. It can be a generic one-to-many demo that is delivered by your best talent, or it can even be an interactive demo or tour. And we're going to first take a look at ungated self-service demos through the lens of your buyers and why it's beneficial to them. Number one, it's on demand, which as we know, aligns with buyer preferences today. It lets your buyers dive into your product and explore it when it's convenient to them. And we know that that's especially important if they're already on your site, you want to give them that option right away. And that's what they're looking for too. And it's important to remember that your buyers likely already have full-time jobs. So at Omidim, we found that 34% of our portal visitors access it during non-business hours, which means at night or on weekends. And, uh, you know, I was just talking to a CEO from one of our customers and he said, people want to do their research on Sunday nights while they watch football. You can't do a live demo then. And that's very true. So on demand. The second reason why it's beneficial for your buyers is it's a good way to let them explore the product on their own. So we know that buyers today want a personal buying experience and a great way to start them off with a personal experience is letting them choose how they engage with your product. So there's a few options that different platforms provide here. Um, you might have different self-service demos for different verticals or different personas. Or it might even be a virtual guided tour where they can click through the steps and you know choose which steps they want to spend the most time on. Or in Omidim's case, there's a search function where the buyer can put in any search term or a question that they have. And then our platform populates the results with the exact second of a video or page of a, of a PDF that answers your question. Okay, that was the buyer side. We're going to take a look now at why ungated self-service demos are beneficial to you. So number one is it lets your prospects do their own qualification. Now, why is this important? Because number one, it, as we saw, matches up with their preferences. Uh, but number two, it lets them do that qualification step without you having to allocate more resources there. And a point that I want to bring up here is losing fast is just as good as winning fast. You know, if they explored your product and it ends up not matching exactly what they're looking for, perfect. That's great. Let them move on. It's much better than the alternative, which is a prospect comes to your site. They don't know what your product does, so they hit request a demo. Your team is spending time trying to find a time to meet with them. You're spending hours before the demo preparing for it and then allocating a lot of brain power to executing it. And then it becomes clear five minutes into the call that it's not a good fit. You avoid that entire situation. The second reason why it's beneficial to you is that it lets you capture the demand that's ready to buy 
while simultaneously nurturing the visitors that are not ready to buy yet. And this is incredibly important. So if someone's ready to buy or they know they want to talk to sales already, perfect. Let them do that. Self-service demos does not get in their way. There's usually always a call to action that says, hey, talk to sales or get a personal demo here. So those people are taken care of. But where I think a lot of businesses are shooting themselves in the foot is not providing the folks who aren't ready to buy yet with the information that they need to help them get to that stage. The status quo, as we saw, is with a request a demo form, hey, if you're not ready to give us your contact information or engage with our sales team, tough luck, you can't see the product. And that's a really bad experience. And if it's your first impression, not a great first impression. So if you give folks a place that they can revisit, it's an always on portal where they can come and learn about your product. That's going to have an immense impact on helping get people ready to talk to sales. All right. One other thing here that I want to bring up is think about the situation in which you offer an ungated self-service demo and your competitors don't. When a prospect is is ready to do their discovery and is evaluating different options that they have, guess which company they're going to spend much more time engaging with? It's going to be yours because you offer an ungated self-service demo. And not only does that help drive engagement with that prospect versus your competitor, it lets you collect more data and also gives you the upper hand in winning that deal over your competitors. Okay, the last benefit uh, kind of pertains to what we were just talking about but the last benefit to you for with ungated self-service demos is that they compound engagement and think about it this way if you give your prospects some content that helps them answer the first few questions great they want to continue down that self-education journey with your product and they're going to look at what else you have another point to compounding engagement Five years ago, the average buying committee size was 5.4 members. Today, it's up to 14 members, and that number is just increasing. And it is so much easier for a prospect to share a link to a self-service demo with their colleague and say, hey, go explore the product and go take a look at it when it's convenient to you versus the alternative, which is, Oh, I, I have another demo with the sales rep uh, next Thursday. Are you going to be available at that time to join us? The, the difference there is night and day. One tip as well. Not all of your content needs to be ungated. In fact, I recommend that it isn't. So what we just talked about, compounding engagement and your buyer wanting to continue that self-education journey. If you have some of that ancillary and supporting content gated, and they've already started their self-education journey, they are so much more likely to fill out that form versus fill out a request a demo form to continue learning about your product. And think about it from your buyer's perspective. They know that there's not that much risk involved with filling out that form. So sure, get, take, take my email, my phone number, my company, and my name, and let me continue learning about your product. Where the request a demo side, it's Okay, I'm indicating to this sales team that I'm ready to talk to them, that I want a demo, even though I'm, I'm not fully ready for that. If you gate some of your content, you're going to receive the contact information uh, and the MQLs that you know are highly interested in seeing your product. Okay, let's take a look at some real world results. And these statistics are from businesses offering ungated self-service demos um, at the moment. So the first one is 52% of website visitors engage with self-service content. That's over half of your visitors. The second one is 15% of website visitors registered for gated, gated content. Now it's not a jaw-dropping jaw number, but it does show an uptick in people willing to part with their contact information to continue their self-education journey uh, and learn about your product. The third one is 50% of website visitors return to consume content at a later gate, <laughs> at a later date. 
like we said, there's back to nurturing your prospects. They know that this is an option to them at any time. So they're going to go back and learn and hopefully they'll be uh, uh, continuing down their process of being ready to talk to sales. Okay, this is the statistic that blew my mind the first time I saw it. Self-service demo visitors spend 17 minutes on average consuming content. That is an immense amount of time and really illustrates the power of self-service demos. So it goes back to the point that we just made of compounding engagement. I did a Google search on how what the average time on page is for B2B SaaS companies for their, for their homepage. I think the answer was 15 seconds or something like that, which might be an extreme, but 17 minutes consuming your content and letting them explore your product is a huge amount of time, especially in today's world of shortened attention spans and the like. Okay, two other noteworthy things that I wanted to share is by providing ungated self-service demos, you're creating knowledgeable, educated buyers that are much more familiar with your product. And by the time they do have conversations with your sales team, that call is gonna be so much more valuable and so much more impactful and meaningful uh, to, to that sale. So you're gonna be able to have much deeper conversations and answer much more spe specific questions versus, hey, does your product do this? Does your product do that? That's all information that they get from the self-service demo. And I have a quote here from a VP of global pre-sales uh, from a customer of Omenim. She says, because our buyers are coming to us more educated and because they've watched these early videos, we're able to have deeper, more meaningful conversations and even better demos on the back end because they've learned our lingo and they know how the system works up front. And this, this quote is very telling and it just goes back to the point of if you're having those deeper, more meaningful conversations and you're able to get to the problem that your buyer is trying to solve and how you can really help them uh, solve that issue, your sales cycle is going to speed up, your close rates are going to improve, and you're going to you're going to close more business. It's just plain and simple. So that's about all the time that I have. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I want to leave you with one thought about self service demos: is that ungated self service demos are a win win for you and your buyers. They're going to help you increase the ROI for your demand generation efforts. And they're going to set you up for success in the short term and the long term. Now, of course, there's a ton of options out there and I encourage you to go to go check them all out. It's important to get the right one for your business. Um, if you are currently looking for a platform, I encourage you to look at Omidim. We have a in-video search function that lets buyers have a great self-service experience and also passes back to you and your sales team unique buyer intent and buyer behavior data. So feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to connect with you. You see my email right there and uh, I'm on LinkedIn as well. I'd love to talk with you more about uh, ungated self-service demos and perhaps share with you the research that I've done in the changes in B2B buying. If you found this session valuable, I also encourage you to follow Omidim on LinkedIn. We have a bi-weekly newsletter called Reach and Win the Modern Buyer. And we do monthly webinars about topics like this as well. So thank you again for spending time with me. Best of luck with everything and have a great rest of your day.